हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द 45 एपिसोड ऑफ जुमला 2.5 कस्टम कंपोनेंट डेवलपमेंट सीरीज इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड वी हैव लर्न दैट हाउ टू इंसर्ट अपडेट डिलीट डेटा इनटू अ डेटाबेस टेबल यूजिंग जे टेबल विदाउट राइटिंग अ सिंगल लाइन ऑफ क्वेरी सो इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल शो यू हाउ टू अपडेट डेटा इनटू द डेटाबेस यूजिंग सम स्पेशल मेथड व्हिच इज बिल्ट इनटू द जे टेबल लाइक Uh, in Joomla, we normally uh, frequently need like ordering. Here you can see the order to change the order, status change that is published to unpublished, and also the check in and check out feature. So these things can be done using the J um, normal query, or you can use the J table. So it's better to use the J table because we don't need to mention the query. As well as when we will uh, learn the uh, two other models, that is form model and admin model, then we can we will see that the record will be automatically inserted, updated, deleted based on the J table. So let's understand what is the check in and check out. So as you know, the Joomla is a multi-user system. So like let's say this is the article manager, so here you can see three article present. So multiple administrator can be uh, present in a single Joomla install site so let's say user 1 open this article 1 for edit okay now from another country or from another browser another user that is user 2 also open this page okay now that user made some changes okay now these users also Making some changes okay now that user saved all the details okay now the second user when he will click on the save and close what will happen this time you are seeing error so what will happen it will replace the content of the uh, first user edited so that's a huge problem to overcome this problem, Joomla introduced check-in and check-out system. So when a user will open a page, that means he is checked in. So now if I refresh this area, look, this user is editing. Okay. So if I refresh this page, so here you can see a little lock sign. So the other user will see this lock sign and he will not allowed to open this article. So when that first user will click on the save and close and the second user if refresh then he can see the unlock. Then that time he can edit the article but the first user if he refresh he can see the lock that it's not editable someone other user is check in. Okay so we can uh, implement these features using the J table so and also this uh, status column that we can you publish and unpublish ordering so what is the ordering like uh, if we insert the another record the ordering will be 3 so how do uh, how will you know that the order uh, will be 3 so you have to calculate like select star from something table uh, select the max uh, max ordering column table and you will get that value is 2 so my next order will be um, current order that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 but if you use the Joomla J table feature then you can easily get the next ordering ID so for this reason I will explain that how to get the next order and also if you want to reorder your table suppose here also present 0 and 0 so you want to reorder your table so J table also provide the API you can easily reorder your table next thing is heads so if you want to track that how many times the records is viewed so you can update this table by query normal query that counter plus one like this or you can use the J table feature okay so let's start with the publish so for the record publish and unpublish also let's and close okay so if we look at our database structure so this is our chat message table so 
we have these fields we don't have any publish or unpublished field so let's create that first so structure create that published published column tiny integer it is small so we have created so if I refresh this page now we can see all the state is zero in Joomla zero means that is unpublished one means published and there are few other like trash and delete archive etc okay so let's start um, you can know what is the status value it's better I think so I'm telling you here you can see published mean one or unpublished means zero archive means two trash means minus two okay so you can update the value according to that option or we can use the J table so I will update this eight number record okay pu unpublished to publish so let's start so let's uh, delete all this thing we don't need we have already explained oh my god now let's keep this so now we will update that status to published so publish so we want to publish use that method and for which here you have to mention the pks and state so what is pks that means you can pass array of primary key and the status uh, which state you want to transform so I just want one so let's uh, define an array eight number record and I want to change the status zero to one just save and refresh this page okay now if I refresh the data so here you can see it's become one so let's modify a bunch of um, ID like 10 13 and 15 so 10 13 and 15 so let's save this and refresh this sorry refresh this page and if I refresh here you can see the 10 13 and 15 updated let's change the value to minus 2 save and refresh and if I refresh this now it's become minus 2 so you can change this value published column value without mentioning that update query so that's good now I will show you the order so to do ordering you need a ordering column so let's modify the table structure and we will give an order that is ordering column so o -R -D -R, ordering and 10 ok now all order is 0 so now suppose uh, I'm going to insert and record I need the what will be the next order so in the previous episode we have uh, created that array of data so there uh, you will mention the um, order or next order so then um, you need the order okay so what will be the next order value so from this instance you can easily ca get the next order value so what you have to write that get next order So let's refresh this page. So here you can see one. Why? The all the order are zero. So the next order will be one. So let's quickly modify one row. Uh, let's ordering to two and save. So now the maximum is two. So if I refresh this, so I'm getting three. So next order will be three. So in this way, you can get the what will be the next order and you can save the order and also you can reorder all this value like all the ordering column have zero so you can easily reorder so here just call 
the reorder save this and refresh this it's taking time and refresh this now you can see the value has been changed so now if I um, print the next order refresh here I'm getting 19 so the maximum order exist is 18 here you can see so in this way you can maintain the order of your table via J table now let's take a look at the hits column so for this reason that how many um, number of our post visited like this you can implement this feature so let's add this field so hits okay now all the hits column value is zero so let's update so um, for 14 I want to update that 14 record is visited by one user so here we have to mention hits now you have to mention the primary key sorry I think hit so 14 so let's save this and refresh this page um, so here you can see the order where it's yes here you can see the value is updated so if I refresh again that means one again one user visit so now it's become two so the if I refresh couple of time so now if I view here you can see the value increase to 10 so in this way you can automatically incre increment this column value without uh, mentioning the update query so hits uh, I have mentioned now for the check-in and check-out <laughs> so for the check-in and check-out functionality we need two columns like one is who checked out and another is in which time so let's mention this so checked out column checked out that is the username 10 sufficient and another is checked out time checked not coming GHCK checked out time that is that time okay and save what yeah so now suppose uh, when uh, you are editing so when somebody will edit you will check in so um, so that other user checked out so that other user cannot work on that link or you will check uh, when any user will want to edit that record you will check that whether it is checked in or not if checked in then tell that no you cannot edit now this time come back later or if not then you will show him the edit form okay so later I will uh, uh, explain all this uh, it will be very clear just I'm um, uh, explaining all this so that you can understand little little things now at the when I will mention all the crude operation in the view that time you will understand everything properly so for the checked out so what you have to do like you have to mention that uh, I am checking out so dollar table table check out now here you have to mention that which user is checking out so which user that is now currently a logged user let's say so dollar user id so j factory j factory get dbo sorry video getting large user id 
so checked out and which record let's say 14 number record save and refresh this page so if I refresh this page mm, 14 is not hold on dollar table check out yeah user ID primary key Right. array 14 save and refresh this page mm. Mm. so checked out checked out yeah so you can see the column name here check out it is checked out missed like who has checked out so let's save this uh, now refresh this page and if I refresh this page now here you can see the checked out it's automatically inserted my logged user ID that is administrator ID this one and the checked out time so now um, you can uh, easily check that who is checked out and you can take this and whether you will allow to edit or not so now you have checked out now uh, you can uh, run like uh, each checked out option so let's check that so if dollar row dollar row is checked out is checked out and you have to give the id that is 14 so in this way like uh, I think uh, the video is um, getting large so in a future tutorial I will explain this checked out and check in feature uh, because uh, this will be required at the time when I will explain the model so that time I will explain this okay so thanks for watching this tutorial and please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question suggestion just write comment below this video I will be happy to answer Thank you.